guys, my name is Sebastian. Today is Wednesday. This week's theme on the channel is food. Now personally, I love food. I love eating food, I love making food, and one thing I love even more than making food, because I'm really lazy, is watching people make food. Now a channel I've been loving lately, and by loving I mean staying up all night watching all the videos, I mean, I mean nothing, nothing, is Jackson Bird's channel, and more specifically, his series, Will It Waffle. So I thought to do a bit of a tip of the hat, and because it's something I've been watching and thinking about and loving a lot lately, is to cook my favorite food, pierogies, Jackson Bird style. So let's do this. All right guys, so I'm here and I got my waffle iron, well, big boss grill with waffle plates because we don't own a waffle iron, we own like a massive thing that can cook a million different things, including donuts, but that's not the point. And I've got my pierogies and I put these in the fridge overnight to thaw so they weren't rock hard so I could actually close the waffle iron. And I've got vegetable oil that's not spray, so we'll find out how this works. So just carefully. Oh, that's a lot. And now we're just gonna get a pierogi. And just I think here, let's see how many I can get on each. Three. I think four rations of three like beautiful faces is the best. My best uh, move here to make them in little groups of three. Now, let us close this and see what happens. Okay, it closes, which is, well, it, do, it doesn't really close. Should I squish it? I'm gonna squish it. Oh, okay, that's hot. Squish. Okay, right, now I'll try to get a close up view and see if we can see anything happening. You can't really see anything happening from the sides. If I open it up a little, you might be, you can kind of see a little. Not really, you can't really see what's happening that well. So this is, this is going to be an, a surprise. Can you see any from here? No, can't really see, oh, you can see a little bit of noodle. So not much to see here. We're just gonna have to see what happens. I'm a bit nervous. Okay, so there's a lot of sizzling noises happening, so I think it's done. So let's just see. All right, so I got my spatula here, so let's just open it up and, whoa! It's stuck, I, I, I realized I made the mistake of putting some on the top, which probably wasn't the wisest. Okay, can we get this? I don't think these are gonna stick together, but they've cooked and they've got there's some waff there's some waffle indentation happening here. Oh no. So I'm gonna try to get this off and then I'll try it. Oh and the cover door's open. Technical difficulties. Alright guys, so I've got my pierogies here and there's some waffle indentation. It didn't stay together that well, but that was my fault because I used oil oil just like liquidy not in a spray and I didn't put it on the whole iron which was a really bad idea but let's just see what this tastes like pretty good I think that's a good way to heat up your waffle my yeah. waffle to heat up your pierogies and and it's a pretty quick way to prepare it you've got to put them in the fridge the night before I don't know what would happen if you had them frozen and just stuck them on. It probably wouldn't work too well and wouldn't get too much indentation and might not cook all the way. But I, th I think this, I think it waffles. If you used uh, proper cooking springs off, I would say this waffles. All right guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to like and comment and subscribe and I'll love you forever. I'll give you cookies or waffle pierogies. And until next Wednesday, peace.